on kids, Pastor Jacob here with another midweek video. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. This week's lesson is in the book of Obadiah. Now, Obadiah is kind of a tough book to find because it's probably only one or two pages in your Bible. Obadiah is in the Old Testament and it comes after the book of Amos and before the book of Jonah. Now, before you just start flipping everywhere in your Bible trying to find Obadiah, I think this is a really good time to use your table of contents. Do you remember what your table of contents are? It's the page at the very front of your Bible that gives you the list of all the books in the Bible and also gives you a page number. So take a minute and find the book of Obadiah. Obadiah was a prophet. Do you remember what a prophet is? A prophet is someone who has a message from God that they need to share with people. Sometimes prophets have these messages that are all filled with hope and happiness. Obadiah wasn't quite that prophet. Most of what Obadiah said, the people who the message was for, didn't want to hear it probably. Obadiah had a message for the people of a nation called Edom. Let's get into our video and see what God wanted Obadiah to say. Hey everyone, it's me, Megan, and I'm Jessie. Jessie, that is a cool beanie you have on. It looks really warm. Thanks, Megan. It is. I helped my dad shovel snow at our neighbor's house. My mom made me put this on so I don't get sick. That was very smart of your mom. And that's so great that you and your dad helped your neighbor. Thanks. Uh, our neighbor, he hurt his leg, so he couldn't shovel the snow himself. I liked helping. Aw, Jesse, that's really great. In our Bible story today, the people of Israel needed help, but their neighbors, the people of Edom, would not help them. They wouldn't? That's so mean. Let's listen to what God had to say to the people of Edom through his prophet Obadiah. Obadiah was a prophet. He listened to God and then he told the people what God said. God had a message for the people who lived in Edom. Edom was a country next to Judah where God's people lived. The people in Edom were not friends with God's people. They did not love God and worshiped things that were not God. The people in Edom lived in the mountains. They thought, these mountains will protect us and we are strong. When the army from Babylon attacked Judah, God's people needed help. Did their neighbors in Edom help? No, they just watched. Some of them even went into Judah and took things that did not belong to them. Obadiah shared God's message for Edom. God said, listen to me. I will make you into a small nation you will not be important, no one will like you. God also said, the mountains cannot protect you. They cannot keep you safe from my punishment. Obadiah told the people of Edom that God was going to let their enemies attack them and take away everything they had. Even Edom's friends would be mean to them. God said, you were mean to my people in Judah. When my people needed help, you did not help them. You laughed at them and were happy they were in trouble. You did the wrong thing and I will punish you. Every bad thing you did to others will be done to you. God said that the bad things happening to his people in Judah would not last forever. God would help his people, but your punishment will be forever, God told Edom. You will be destroyed. The last part of Obadiah's message from God was good news for God's people. God said, my people will have the land that belongs to Edom. Even though the army from Babylon took God's people away from their homes, they would not be away forever. God promised to take care of his people. The people of Edom mistreated God's people. Later, God's people mistreated his son, Jesus. Jesus died on the cross to be punished for his people's sin. 
we can trust Jesus to make wrong things right. Yeah, I don't think the people of Edom were too excited about what Obadiah had to say. Edom didn't love God, and they refused to help God's people. I struggled a little trying to figure out how we can all learn something from this lesson. It can be hard sometimes to see what God wants to teach us when we're reading about how he punished people so long ago. But I believe there's at least two lessons that we can get from Obadiah's message. The first lesson we learn is that God promised to take care of his people. At the end of Obadiah's message, God promised that the people of Israel would not be taken captive forever and that they would be a great nation again. God's promise to take care of his people is for us too. Jesus tells us in Matthew 7 that God is the good and perfect father that knows how to take care of his children. So we too can hold on to the hope that God is going to take care of us. Another lesson I believe we can learn from Obadiah's message is learning to not act like the people of Edom. Edom was jealous of Israel. They didn't like Israel. So when Israel was in trouble, they laughed and took advantage of them. If we love God, we shouldn't act like that. There may be people that we don't like very much, but if we are to live like Jesus, just because we don't like someone doesn't mean that we shouldn't help that person. We should always be willing to help people around us who are in trouble. Jesus would help and heal people who no one even wanted to touch. We need to have that same attitude and be willing to help anyone. This is a great lesson. It may not have been the happiest news at the time, but we learned that God will take care of his people. And we learned that we should be willing to help those who are in need of help. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and see if there's a way that you can help someone this week. Talk with your family about someone you know that may need help and how you can help. See you all real soon. Bye.